In this video, we we'll talk about N coverage certificate EC, how to apply online relating to an immovable property in Karnataka state. Immovable property such as land or home apartments. So first thing first, what is an EC and how does the EC document look like? Okay, for that, let's open the browser. So in the Google, I'm searching what is income certificate EC. What it is stating, the income certificate EC is an essential legal document that provides the ownership of the property and indicate the financial liability or claims against it. It is widely used in property transactions, loan approvals and legal verifications. And how does EC document look like? So here is a sample given and it is look like this. Okay, next is to get an income certificate, what are all prerequisites required? Number one, you must have a sale deed or you should know the sale date number. Second, which sub register office where the sale deed was executed? Number three, property location details as stated in the Schedule A property section in the sale deed. If you scroll down in the uh, sale deed, you will find a section called Schedule A property. Okay, let me show you how the Schedule A property looks like in any sale deed. For that, I'll open my browser and in Google, say I have searched uh, Schedule A property section in sale deed. There are a lot of options are showing here, like how the sale deed looks like. I'm selecting this particular, this one. This is how it looks like. Let me maximize this. See how this is Schedule A property looks like in a sale deed, where you can find survey number, details, uh, situated in which place, which village it is located, then which taluk, which district, the land or building or apartment uh, facing towards north, what is what is there in the north side, east side, west side, south side. So all these details basically you'll find in Schedule A property. Next, previous owner's name or builder name. And the last one is new owner's name. Okay, so now I have uh, entered the details like sale deed number, which sub register of which the sale deed was executed is in executed in Sibaji Nagar, Bengaluru. Property location details as stated in Schedule A property in the sale deed. That is Karna Mangala village in Bidrahali, Hobli. Previous owner's name or builder name, the Sai Lakshmi Narayana Homes Private Limited. New owner's name is Anupama G. And sale deed was executed on 11 11 2022. Kaveri Online Services. This one, okay, hit enter. Kaveri 2.0. So this is the home page, how it looks like Kaveri Online Services. Here you'll find uh, the language English or Kannada. Register and login. So if a new user, you can click register and login. Enter your first name, middle name, last name, gender, mobile number, email address, security questions, and the answer, the captcha code, and finally register. Okay. So I have already registered to this. So I'll do one thing. I'll just click on login and enter my uh, credentials. Next one will appear is the OTP. So, right. So, as you can see, I have logged into my account. Click on this Start New Application tab. Income Certificate Online EC. Click on this one and just go through this uh, instruction. So, now we can click Continue. After uh, 1st January uh, 2004 or before 1st January 2004. So, in our case, it's 2022. So, uh, after 2004, select After. Proceed. So now you see it is the form has opened and it is asking like search by property number or search by party name the seller or purchaser okay, so we'll select uh, search by party name because we know uh, who is the seller and who is the purchaser so now asking district so this is the Sivajinagar okay and Taluk Taluk it is in Krishnarajapuram here it is Kanamangla after that I have entered the full name of the purchaser that is Anupama last name G and then period of EC search so registration was done on 11 11 2022 so what I did just three days before date I put like 8 11 2022 and then uh, two days three days after uh, the registration that is 14th 11 2022 with this I am searching and see what I got form 16 rule 148 form number 16 is search result is failed so now see i have modified the search this time not entering the full name like anupama I just enter four first four characters like a n o o and i have removed everything like middle name and last name and remaining search criteria is same and let's search and see what is happening 
So now see the search result is showing form number 17. That means the search is now successful. So please see now um, the EC looks like this. This is a the EC comes in a table format and uh, the table looks like this. So in this section you will find all the, your property details like where it is situated like Bidrahali Hobli, village Kanamangla. Property number is this. This is on which date uh, registration was done and what is the what is the sale market value and what is the consideration amount for the sale and here who is the previous owner typically the builder name the silex minarana homes or the purchaser and uh, the sale date a number so in the same building if you have uh, uh, more than one apartment in your name then uh, you can scroll down in this table you will find multiple ECS like here number is mentioned it's one like if you scroll down it will come two three and how many apartment you own in this building uh, it will show in this search criteria basically so now I have scrolled down the online EC table and you see the serial number it is now showing number two all the property details here and all the rest all details uh, this is how you will get all the ECs in the same search now let's move how to download EC let's see now now i have scrolled down all the way up to the bottom and now here you can see there are three options are showing there are three check boxes the first one is cannot locate your property i know it is not applicable to me because i have already located my property all my property details are showing here in this table so next is the above result displayed are related to the input provided by b yes yes it is matches so it is applicable to me this check boss i checked the next one is i would like to proceed with applying for a digital signed copy of the ec yes i do that so i'll check this check boxes and then finally click on the proceed button so next screen you see it is asking about the payment details like the application fee that is ec fee is 10 rupees first year search fee is 30 rupees subsequent year search fee is zero because we are just searching for the first year so for us for in this uh, example for us we need to pay just 40 rupees here it is showing a temporary ec application number it is showing here uh, and then finally when you are ready you can click on make payment so as soon as you click on the payment button you will find this type of uh, user interface please go through this instruction but the most important uh, instruction is this one uh, number nine where it says avoid payment between 7 30 a.m to 9 a.m and 8 p.m to 10 30 p.m during which khajane would be under daily maintenance so avoid making payment in between these two times mode of payment neft rtgs or uh, through net banking then type of uh, e canara epay direct uh, integration icic epay sbi epay let's uh, select uh, e sbi epay enter the captcha understood the this one condition both and select submit and now see these are some options debit card sbi corporate credit card internet banking or upi so we'll make payment through upi this is the best method to do payment either you can enter upi id or upi qr code i'll select qr code and how much we need to pay we are paying 40 rupees and now payment is payment is done now I have click on the online EC application and this is the current one. Here it shows the application number, date, today's date, application type, online uh, EC application, application status ready for e-signing, action, e-sign is pending. So what we will do, we will click on e-sign. So see the next screen, the payment here, so total payment paid is 40 rupees. Next is e-sign section, e-sign form 22, send for e-sign and it is showing our application number now we click on send for e-sign so next screen you see you are currently using cdac e-sign service and you have been redirected from center of e-governance karnataka so now here in this we need to enter the aadhar either you can enter the aadhar number here or you can enter your virtual id or even you can enter uid token so as soon as you enter your uh, other number and then you need to click on get OTP and OTP will come to your register mobile number, feed the OTP and then submit it. So now I have come back to my home screen again and navigate to online EC application. Here you can see the first row. It is the 
current EC that we are trying to get it. Uh, this is today's date. Application type is online EC application. Application status is allocated to FDA, SDF from SRO. SRO means sub register office. So just uh, compare these two row numbers. This is the current one we're trying to get the EC and then we see you comparing like this the previous one which is already completed at uh, the current state it is like uh, online EC here this is online is application however here is the difference applicant status which is now it is for us it is going allocated to FDA SDA from SRO but the one which is already completed it is going application e signed by SRO so basically we have sent the application for to SRO sub register office uh, for e signing. When e signing is done, then uh, the status will change to eventually be application e signed by SRO. This will be changed. Okay. Next, download e sign option will be get available. So today's date is this. So we'll come back after a week and see if this is done or not. So here now you can see on February 1st, 2025, we had submitted this online EC application form and the status is still uh, download signed EC is not yet available. I will check again after two days. So it will become three plus to five working days. We'll see if it is taking five working days or even more. So stay tuned. Friends, today I logged into my account and I'm seeing signed EC is now available. As you can see, this option is available. Let me show you side by side comparison. So this is the old one status then when uh, we applied online EC application this is how the status was and now this is the current status status now after getting the EC. Then when we applied the last time the date it was showing on 1st Feb we applied and today it is showing 8th Feb we got our EC. The application status was al allocated to FDA SDA from SRO and now the application status is application e signed by a SRO it is already e signed however now download signed EC is available and it was not showing that time because that time we sent the application uh, for e-signing purpose. So now you can click here and can download the online EC, signed EC actually, you know, signed and verified copy. I'll show you how the signed and verified page look like in the EC. So I open that file which I down downloaded, the signed online EC application. It looks like this form 17 rule 148 and all the private details are masked and this is page number one of five. The first page it looks like this. Next I'll directly go to the page number five where you will find the uh, e-signature and verification details. So this is the, the last page, page number five of five where you can find the verification details. This is how the digitally signed and verify copy look like. Here it is the preparer and this is the verifier who is prepared when who is verified. The name details and everything is showing here. If the online EC is not signed copies then you will not find these details in your EC application. Somebody has prepared, somebody has verified and this is the SRO.